Just let Marcy have it. Yeah, you pushed out the buffalo, but she has to live with it. Adam, he has to be stopped. Oh, I know. She's trying to cancel my Outback membership. <laughs> you know, we always agreed we would never fight about money. That said, this is all your fault. You should never have taken that money from my dad. You are 100% right. Well, I like hearing that in the bathroom. It's got a nice echo. <laughs> I mean, he wants to look at all of our money stuff? That's not happening. No, it's not. OK, we've got to draw a line in the sand. We're going to go over there and tell him to stay out of our business. Can we talk to your dad now? No, 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 no. Let's soften him up first. Hey, kids, go give Grandpa kisses and put him in a good mood. <laughs> like Mom tells us to do to you when she wants something? What? Nothing. Go, 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 go. Kids. <laughs> OK, since we're all here now, let's settle this Don birthday controversy. It's not a controversy. We can't even agree on what to call it. <laughs> Look, since you two can't decide who should have Don's party, maybe you should consider a neutral location, like Chuck E. Cheese. Well, that sounds fun. Good food, great music. I, I just think I should host it. I mean, after all, I was there for Don's real birthday. Oh, it was like pushing out a buffalo. <laughs> He was too big for the baby scale, so they had to take him to a supermarket and weigh him like a watermelon. <laughs> well, and, and because of that, Adam, don't you think I should host the party? Just let Marcy have it. Yeah, you pushed out the buffalo, but she has to live with it. <laughs> OK, let's have it at Marcy's. I'm not a sore loser. I'll even come over early and give you a hand with the cooking so everything's not so salty. <laughs> Hey, Lowell, do they still have it? Sounds good. Be right there. What was that about? Wrong number. And completely unrelated, I got to go. <laughs> All right, you two. Let's get started with these bills. Uh, actually, <clears throat> we need to talk to you about that. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Dad, thank you for the loan. But we think we can handle our own finances. We may decide to cut back on the coffees. Nope. Or keep it the same. <laughs> but it'll be our decision. What a surprise. You don't want my help. Well, you wouldn't take my advice when you started out. Why would you take it now? Yeah, that's got nothing to do with this. You know, when Adam got out of school, I pulled some strings and got him a job fixing trucks for the city, just like me. Steady paycheck, benefits, a pension. But no, he was too good to fix trucks. Oh, hang on, Joe. That's not fair. I never said I was too good to fix trucks. You didn't have to say it. What is your problem with me? You have poor judgment, but it makes sense. After Donnie paved the way, you dropped out of your mother right onto your head. I never knew that. <laughs>